Okay, here we are, the Pride Middleweight Champion right there, Mandalay Silva against that man, Kiyoshi Tamura. A very intense struggle, and here we are with the president of Dreamstage Entertainment, Mr. Morishita. Going up and uh, doing the ceremony of the belt, which is up for grabs in this fight. Vandalay defending the belt that he won when he defeated Sakuraba uh, in Pride Championship Chaos last December. And here it is, Kay Grant doing the announcement. Challenging for the Pride Middleweight Championship is Kiyoshi Tamura from Japan. Getting a huge ovation here from the crowd. I wonder why. Oh, here we go with the hands. The champion, Bandley Silva. Bandley never fails to deliver an aggressive fight. He comes forward. How will Tamura shut down the punches, the kicks, the knees, the takedown attempts, Bronson? Well, I, I, he's a very scary individual right here. Yeah, Tamura literally closed his eyes to avoid the, the stare down. The crowd is into this one. Yeah, expect to be, this is gonna be fire right away. Bang! And the left kick from Tamura to the body. It's gonna come. Because that's a strong weapon that he has right there. But definitely watch his take. He do their homework. So you gotta watch out that he's not gonna counter it with the right straight. That's a perfect kick to counter with the right straight. Bang! Oh, there we go. Right well, he took him right down. He's getting into Tamura's guard. And Tamura trying to wrap up his arms so he can't punch. And Vandalay going down with the punches. I didn't expect this at all, actually. No, I didn't either. But Vandalay uh, decided to take the fight to the ground after a couple kicks by Tamura. But he did so good with the right straight. Why would he take it down? You know what I mean? Tamura's got to uh, actually open his guard now. Vandalay. Nice punch. Yeah, that dropped. What's your prediction on this fight, Bob? Um, yeah, prediction is it, if, if it wouldn't have gone to the crowd, I would have said right away, you know, okay, that lady's gonna punch and punch and kick and knee and, 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 and finish the fight with it. And if it's, even if it's on the ground, you don't get out of the gun and start kicking him to the stop everything. Well, that was a good punch right there. Uh -huh. But I mean, now he goes to the ground. Maybe he specialized himself in this uh, last two months for some certain submission, but when he wants to try it out, we don't know. And I see the better striker than the ground. Oh, yeah. Well, we discussed earlier. Oh, now, Tamora's doing some pretty good leg work here, but we discussed earlier about you training and you possibly wanting to come back. And I think the winner of this fight, what would you think about a match with them? Yeah, certainly, I would, uh, would like to fight, you know, like a, a, any other uh, tough fighter. But I, I can just think, like I said before, that Tanzania is just a really good matchup for me because he's a striker, but obviously <laughs> he takes the more to the ground. But I just like to brawl too, you know, so one time a nice little brawling match. Well, do you think if you fought Bantley, he'd take you down too? I don't know. I uh, I don't know. It, it would be smarter to take me down than to take Tanzania down, I think. Why is that? Because I think I'm a better striker than Tamura. I think uh, Tamura came out of the submission area. He's got a real good left kick, but I've never seen him like, finish somebody with like punching combinations or, or like other combinations that on, on, on his feet. But he did on the ground with submission. So. I agree with you on the uh, 
breakdown of this fight going to the ground like this, I didn't expect this. I thought that uh, Van Vliet was going to turn into a brawl. Nice. Now he's really grounding and pounding. Tamora has never fought with punching to the face on the ground in his life. That was some solid blows. You see, maybe he just trained on this. Yeah, maybe. Ground and pound. Whoa! Tamora going, trying to get Vanderlyn's back. It was a good hustle there by Tamora, but now he's in worse trouble, in my opinion, because he's going to be the knees, and Vanderlyn breaks loose from this punch. And Vanderlyn uh, trying to get him down. Vanderlyn just Vanderlyn coming and raging with a punch in the knee to the belly. Vanderlyn really teeing off here on Tamora. Tamora trying to get that fight on the ground again. Vanderlyn knee to the face. Beautiful. This is what he but Tamora, now bleeding a little bit, did get the fight back to his feet because he started to eat punches, but it's kind of a lose-lose situation for him right now. What does he have that he can stop Vandaly with? The theory would be a submission, but that's a theory because Tamura, um, he had some rough paddles and rings. He lost a, a tough one to Gilbert Ivel. He uh, fought Dan Hens. I mean, he fought Hensel Gracie. He was the first guy to ever hand, uh, hand Hensel Gracie a loss. But Hensel isn't the kind of striker that Vanderlei is. Yeah, I, listen, if he could not, uh, if, uh, Sakuraba could not submit Vanderlei, then I don't see Tamura. Sorry, Tamura. Tamura is really taking uh, a little bit of a schlack in here from Bandele. Now Bandele dives over the top and throws a, a, a big right hand. There we go. Yeah, he's kicking the leg. He's trying to kick the head. Yeah, Bandele is a, a real sly. Good knee to the plexus. And Bandele showing some good wrestling there. Tamura is looking up like a mess right here. Whoa, and, looks real sharp. And we only are halfway through the round. Expect the Vanderlei's going to try and knock. Oh, what happened? There's a punch. Tamora nailed Vanderlei. Vanderlei taking Tamora down. Tamora getting up again. Oh, knee to the body. A rough and tumble brawl in the fight so far. Tamora surprising everyone by doing what a number of people have done, and that's hit Vanderlei and daze him for a second, but he just dropped him one day. Because Vanderlei, in his uh, want to deliver such an aggressive fight, occasionally leaves himself open. Yeah, like you uh, saw just before, he started laughing when he when he slipped, and that's a moment he's very, you know, he, he's vulnerable, because then he wants to show the, his opponent that he didn't feel anything, he wants to smile, and he forgets about defending himself. That's the moment you really want to attack him. This is going to be a long four minutes for Kyoshi Tamura before this round is over. Yeah, if they keep doing it like this, they're going to stand up the fight. I, I yeah. don't see a problem here for Vanderlei. Why are you... I, I, yeah, I think Vanderlei should just like... Yeah. As, soon as, as soon as he breaks the overhooks, he should just like throw the guard away and maybe stock a kick him one time and stand up. And if Tamura traps his arms and holds him, he's probably going to get a yellow card here also. They've been fairly judicious about the yellow cards tonight. Yeah, that was strange. Okay. Like an average pawn, you see things like that. That's right. But so far, it's been all one way except for the, the kick at the beginning and the punch halfway through by Tamura Vanderlei delivering the punches in bunches on the ground. Yeah, the referee's going to come in now and he's going to put the fight up. Yeah, he's got to because he's got the double overhooks. He just, just wants to shut him down. Yeah. This is... They should uh, restart it. But who knows? Yeah. One thing you don't have to worry about Bandley is him running out of gas. No. We've never seen that before. So it won't, especially for a title fight, I bet you that's not going to happen. No. But Tamura is bleeding quite a lot. But he cannot apply the drowning method because he's on the bottom. The infamous drowning method. Maybe it would be the capillary 
drowning them. <laughs> huh? Look at him, he's, he's pushing his air pipe right there, but yeah, it doesn't work. Controlling with the hand like we saw in the... Uh, Heath Herring, right? That's it. Yeah, Bentley um, seems pretty, pretty content to just sit in the guard and just pound away. There seems to be no threat whatsoever from Tamura in a submission sense to defeat Vanderlei at the moment. No. This is going to go to round number two. And then it's going to be a real tough restart there at the beginning of that round for Tamura. No. Vanderlei should just pound away to the body. Harder. Oh, that's, those uppercuts are good too. This has been sort of a textbook statement of grounded pound from over, under, side, body, head, short punch, uppercut, like you said. Vanderlei really showing people how to do damage while in the guard. Yeah, but it's not going to finish the fight, you know. It's, it's, that was a good one. You see, punches like that, a couple, a couple, a couple, is going to set things open, make things open for another shot, maybe to the body or another hand shot, you know, the other hand. Well, well in Vanderlei's last fight, the fight did go. Oh, quite, oh, that's a nice one. oh, now he rocked him on that one. And Tamora can take a shot here. As I was saying, uh, Vanderlei's last fight in Pride Cold Fury 2, December of last year, he went quite a long time with Alexander Otsuka. As a matter of fact, it went into the third round. Maybe he's trying to get a workout. Yeah, maybe he tries to break sweat first before going into the round of two. Well, it, it appeared to be pretty much total domination there by Vanderlei Silva. A, a lot of destruction being vented out to Kiyoshi Tamura. I've never seen Tamura in this bad shape <laughs> during a fight. Of course, then with rings, they don't allow punching on the ground. Yeah, that's a big this, right there. Yeah. This is like, to have your first fight under these kind of rules against the man from Curitiba, Brazil, is really a courageous endeavor. Here's Vanderlei bashing away. Those were good shots. You see now, that is grounding, ground and pound. A little a forearm action in there. And, beautiful. Uh, he escaped beautiful. You gotta hand it to Tamura. He's taking the shots, but he's not giving up. There's no quit in his mind. Nice escape, beautiful escape. And it was a good hustle to try and get Vanderlei's back, but Vanderlei really hustled as well to shut him down. Oh, Tamura doesn't look good. Tamura, in, in his corner, he's got uh, TK Kosaka and Murakami Kasunari giving him instructions. But Tamura's going to need a little bucket of ice in his face after this fight. I think so, too. I think so. One thing he shouldn't do is blow your nose. I did that one time after a fight, but my eyes were closed. Do not. People at home, blow your nose if your eyes are closed because you can, your face is going to look like a big wing. No, you like flipper. You blow your whole eye up with blood, and it looks ugly. <laughs> Even I, hello, up, Second down, second down. That's an amazing second thing. Second Second down. Second I never second thought down. I would hear that from you. I couldn't believe it myself. But you know, I, I, I'm sure that you'll be able to retract that statement at some point in your life, saying I didn't say that, Stephen. No, it's on air. It's live. <laughs> Left foot to the body. Here we go. Vanderlei is going to blitz it. Yeah. They say maybe that's, that's right. Eh? You want to do something with right. I think what Vanderlei wants to have happen is get through this fight without even a scratch on his face. 
the best way to do that would try to finish it right away. Yeah. yeah. That was a good kick. That yeah, was. And Vanderlei answering back with his own left oh, hand. Oh, cat does see those kind of kicks. Oh! That was a good left hand right there. And when they start smiling, that is most of the time. Oh! Vanderlei coming in, walking right through Tamora's punches. And Vanderlei tripping Tamora down, getting down. Tamora having the guts to stand there with Vanderlei and just trade. He, he didn't back down in that exchange. No, so, and Vanderlei is cut. I saw him getting cut by one of the punches. Here you go. Yes. Wow. I got such a good eye. Really do. Yeah. So tomorrow, really is trying to win this fight. Yeah. In, in his mind, I don't, I don't think he's going to give up at all, no matter what happens. No, I don't think so. He's here to fight. He, he, he wants to go to distance because, let's face it, going to distance with Vanderlei, that is an accomplishment in itself. Thank you, sir. But it's interesting that Bentley was vulnerable to Tamora from punches. Yeah, he came in suddenly with that right straight. Uh, maybe the first softball striker that Bentley ever fought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a left straight, actually, eh? yeah, 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 it was left straight. Because he's a softball. Yeah. Uh, and that kick to the body, the left kick to the body, that actually it was a good kick. A great kick. Yes, this goal can, could go into the next round. If they go like this. This is what we want to see. There you go. We have Bentley doing his nasty work. <laughs> with the kicks and punches. Oh, oh there it is. That's it. That's it. And it was a knockout with Whoa. one punch. With one punch, folks. Vanderlei Silva landed the cleanest shot of the fight. And it was a one punch back. It was a straight right. Right on the jaw, boss. Beautiful. Beautiful. I want to see the replay of this one. Look at that man right there. Whoa. Pointing at me? Uh, just kidding. <laughs> you are no you, <laughs> you are funny, but you go. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. In two minutes, 28 oh, seconds. Wow, I want to see the replay of this the because that was a shot. That was a right hand. Oh yeah, it was two minutes and 28 seconds of round two. Mansley took a little bit of a slacking in that fight, and uh, Tamura. But he a very he courageous was fight. Was oh, yes, he did. And he, he had a good, nice reversal. His courage could never be questioned. He was just flat out good. Yep. Like you said, man, it's, it's going for rings with no striking on the ground, suddenly to the pride, but then against an opponent like Vandalay, that is a scary thing to do. Look at it, great sportsmanship here. Like we always say. Oh, here we go. Here, here it is. we go. And, Correct. And you know, it was overhand right, and it was right on the side of the jaw. Tamura was out. Oh. He, he basically was, he, he didn't want it anymore. Watch as he loads it up all the way for the mouth. Oh, See, my God. You know, Tamura went to the well one too many times with those punching exchanges, and it was curtains for him. Vandalay jumping up on the ring ropes. Shouting at the camera. Yeah. And he's saying something. Uh, is, is he saying boss? Uh, what is he saying? He's saying something. I'm sure we'll get the full lowdown uh, when he gets the pride belt strapped around his waist. There's his master instructor, Hujamar Federigo, toweling him off. A very impressive victory for Vanderlei because it was a one punch knockout. The guy can punch. Uh, no questions, no questions. He can eat, he can kick, he can punch. And I bet you can submit too. You remember the, the yeah, Armari no, Amistad no, Robert and he let go? Yeah. So who would be next for Vanderlei Silva, boss? I, 